Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm eating Fresh Burger. I've spoken about this place before when I was in um, California and I tried In-N-Out. Um, I kept saying how I think Fresh Burger is better and already it smells better and it looks better. So that's the first burger. That's just the dub. That's just the cheeseburger, the Fresh Burger cheeseburger. And then this one is the Fresh Burger Double Cheeseburger, which all the meat is like kind of at the bottom of the double patties. And then I have just some regular fries, which I wish I asked them for their sauce at the side. I guess they don't do that unless you ask, so kind of missed out on that. And I have a poutine. So. I'm going to dump these fries out. Mm. So this is the double. I'm going to start with the single. And they just have the fresh burger sauce at the bottom. Which kind of looks like the in and out sauce. Mm -mm. So it just has lettuce, tomato. <clears throat> mm. You can ask for pickles and onions, but I didn't ask for them this time. The sauce is so much better. The one thing <clears throat> I really like about this place is the burgers aren't like greasy and you can when they're making it they like press down like they have a ball literally a beef and they press it down so they make it super fresh. So poutine originates from Quebec and um, like they don't say exactly who, like no one really knows exactly who made poutine, we just know it came from Quebec and as the story goes, a guy kept on going into like this pub or like this restaurant and he would always ask him to put cheese curds in his fries and gravy and so that's how poutine was made. And it's starting Quebec. Mm. Mm. It's 
like super big cheese curds, super cheesy and delicious with gravy. Very Canadian. <laughs> So I saw this there. It's Pepsi Wild Cherry. I've tried like um wild well, like cherry Coca-Cola cherry. Which I love. Vanilla Coke Cherry is probably my favorite, but I've never tried like Pepsi Wild Cherry. Mm. Everyone's like, it's funny because everyone's like going crazy about that Pepsi commercial or whatever. I don't know if they know what to say. I don't, I actually just don't care. Like, stuff like that, I'm like, whatever. Life. <laughs> Someone was saying, like, in the comments, so, like, I don't know when you shake your head if you like the food or if you don't like the food. And I'm like, well, it means I like the food. So when I go, it means I, mm, it's fucking good. <laughs> Poutine, just like cheese curds, and so good. I haven't had poutine in a while. McDonald's has poutine here. I'm gonna try the McDonald's poutine. I wish I got a side of their fresh burger sauce. It is so good. So this is the double. This is the double fresh burger burger. They look good, shouty. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. My fucking burger just fell on my hair. <laughs> Oopsies. Well, there goes that little bag. Anyways, guys, so that's it. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Mmm.
this burger hits the spot. Like, yeah. You know when you're a kid and you eat a hamburger, you go to like your first barbecue for the first time? And you eat a hamburger and you're like, oh my god, this is so good. And then every time it's like summertime where you see barbecues, you just think about how good a hamburger is or like a hot dog. That's the feeling I get when I eat this burger. <laughs> I just finished the gym and like I went straight to Fresh Burger and I was like my boyfriend my boyfriend's like how are you gonna go to Fresh Burger like how are you gonna go to Fresh Burger do your mukbang and drop me off a hamburger I'm like I'm not <laughs> that was kind of mean eh so funny some people will comment like burp you know and then some people will be like oh my god did she just burp and I'm like sorry honey like I was not raised with manners so <laughs> I do not when I go to a fancy restaurant I do not know which fork to fucking use like I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm, I'm like middle low class I don't know what to tell you <laughs> Mm. <clears throat> if someone were to teach me though which fork was which which like little spoon was which I would remember it and I would do that because it's something I learned, you know, something I know, like I'll do it, you know? But I feel like when people learn something, they forget like they didn't know that before and not a lot of people maybe know it, so they get really ignorant and it's like, bitch, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Which someone said in my comments, they're like, because I'm like, you have to like do everything that I say for the contest, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're like, who does this girl think she is? And I'm like, it's a contest. Like, obviously, you have to listen to everything I say if you want to win. Like, I'm not, like, telling you what to do with your life. <laughs> it's so funny.
thank God I got this poutine because I didn't get any dip with these fries. And that would have sucked if I didn't have like moist french fries to a certain extent. <laughs> I'm savoring every last bite. Well, this was amazing, but these fries are really good. Like, they're just starting to get cold, and they're still good. Which, in and out, when their fries got cold, they literally taste like shit. Like, they taste like paper. Which is weird, because they make it fresh, but I don't know, I'll just, I don't know. Like, this tastes like a french fry. You know what I mean? Yummy, yummy french fry. <clears throat> I guess this was more of a comparison video than it was, like, a verse video because I didn't eat them together. But yeah, Fresh Burger is definitely better than In-N-Out. I haven't tried Shake Shack. I definitely have to try Shake Shack. The next, I guess, comparison would be in and would be Fresh Burger and Shake Shack because I heard good things about Shake Shack. And it seems to me like Shake Shack and Fresh Burger are more in like the same realm because In-N-Out is like a corporation, like whereas In-N-Out is still like small enough to maintain their quality. I mean, Fresh Burger is small enough to maintain their quality. Because once you start mass producing like hamburgers, I don't know how that even works. Like how many cows are there in the world, right? So. Which brings me to an article I read the other day and I was saying like most meat is like majority soy, which I don't mind because like my grandfather says, now this is what my grandfather said, that this just could be like what Chinese people believe. My, my ye, ye said this. He said that soybean helps prevent breast cancer. So he's like, eat lots of soy. So, yay soy. But I don't know if that's true or not. Do not fucking quote me. I actually don't know. But he said that. And I was like, interesting. Is that like a Chinese Asian thing? Or is that like factual? Because Chinese do have a lot of Chinese remedies, right? But I'm assuming he was a teacher as well in a university, so I'm assuming there are some factual basis to that. Like, it's probably not just, like, an old wives' tale or whatever. Oh, there's a cute little squirrel. Someone said that, like, squirrels are just, like, furry, like, rats in trees. And I don't think that's true. I think squirrels are so fucking cute. 
If I could catch a squirrel and train it, I would. I'd have a little squirrel pet. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's just like hanging out in the tree. It's like, like this. Anyways, guys, I am so stuffed and I have to go to class now. So, boo, lame. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching.